folks. So I want to show you today seven social media tools that I have tried in hopefully about seven minutes. And Buffer is nice because it's got a nice free mode that you can do with just a few different social media platforms. It's got a scheduler. And when you add a new post, you can customize each one for each network. Uh, but for me, I felt like that was a little... Uh, not enough for what I really wanted. I wanted, I want to be able to just set it and forget it. If I have to keep coming in here and scheduling, then I might as well just keep posting on my social media platforms live. I just don't want to plan that much. So I checked out Hey Orca and I really like Hey Orca because it has this nice demo you can come in and just try out and see. So I can see that, look, oh, this has this Twitter profile and, oh, I could do Instagram like this. And so I like their setup just from uh, an experience perspective where you can just go in and quickly see uh, how it works. I think that's really great. And you can have a library of your content, which is very nice and visual. You can see all of this. You can import Canva designs and do all of this. But again, I would say Buffer and Hey Orca are for people who are very much planned out marketers. For me, I just, that just doesn't work for me. I, I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing with social media and I don't want to plan a bunch of campaigns. I had looked at later and I only connected my Instagram account to it, but what might be nice for some people is that it has a media library just like the other one where you can come in and you know have all your media saved, but you can also come in and just search for stock photos in Unsplash already. For me, I mean, that wasn't that exciting because I already know about Unsplash and I have Canva. So to me, later just seemed like, okay, it just has kind of a lot of the same things. You can schedule all of these posts, but it didn't have any of the automation that I'm really looking for. I also checked out Missing Letter, and Missing Letter is pretty cool um, because what I, it had some of the automation I wanted where I could come in here and type in a link and it would automatically pull that content for me. So I'm gonna quickly go into one of my blog posts. So this, this is kind of a silly blog post I wrote, but I can come in here and it actually automatically pulled cash tags from the article I wrote, and it pulls in the images from my article, which is pretty handy. And then it pulls in a lot of these quotes that I had in my article itself. So then that actually helps me just go in and build my campaign. Like if you just see this, I literally did nothing. I just, you know, did this. And so then it comes up with this, these captions and these titles, and you can come here and kind of tweak this imagery and everything. The problem for me with missing letter is that it's set up in campaigns and I don't like thinking about campaigns. I'm not trying to sell anything per se, like a company might. So for me, like having something on day zero, day three, day seven, day 14, 30, 90, 180, 270, I still have to think too much. I've still got to think about like when I'm timing my campaigns and whatnot. So it's very nice, very beautiful, very user friendly, but I just don't like the campaign feature. I do really like their curate feature where you can post like your, you can share your articles with other people in certain areas. And then you can come in here and find relevant content for your audience. So I think that's great. I just, the campaigns weren't working for me. Tailwind is great for Instagram and Pinterest. And I guess Facebook, just because Instagram and Pinterest are so connected. What I really like about Tailwind is the create in the communities feature. Communities I won't really go into because it's very similar to Missing Letter where you just basically post your content and people can look at it. But what's nice about um, Tailwind is I can come in here and like import a link from my blog. So this is just a blog article I wrote and I had already imported a, a URL here. It either pulls an image or you can use a stock photo. And then you can come in here and just create these really nice designs for your different platforms. So I can select one for Pinterest. 
I can select one and it would work for Instagram. And I think that's great. Uh, and so I think this is a really great tool if you're really focusing on Instagram and Pinterest. But again, you've kind of got to do a lot of the writing of the content yourself. It doesn't automatically pull from your website. So meet Edgar. This is actually through the volunteer organization I work for. I use it for this. What really attracted me to meet Edgar is that it's, it's set up by these categories here. And then you put content into each different category and then your schedule is designed around these categories. So I've got it on Sunday where it just posts these blog posts in that category. Images oriented are like the Instagram type ones that are just images. It posts these at these times. So what really works great for me is I can just put in my content and then forget about it. And what I liked about with Meet Edgar, you can go into a post and so I can have this link here, this SD pin member profile link, and then it automatically pulls out quotes in the form of variations for your post. So you can have five variations of a same post and I can have this suggest even more variations. Oh, and it probably didn't work because I already did some, but what it does is it just pulls out these quotes from the article and then you've already got content. What I don't like about Meet Edgar is that you can't do customize for each profile. Like I, I can't customize the content for Instagram. I can customize it for Facebook for some reason, but not Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn. And so like I can, I have to make all of my texts short enough to fit into Twitter and I have to include links, even though Instagram doesn't do links. So I don't like that, but I love the automations and meet Edgar and the categories thing. And so that is why all of this is leading up to why Social B was actually the winner for me. Because Social B, even though it's not nearly as beautiful as Missing Letter or as kind of clean as Meet Edgar, it is the most robust. It can allow you to connect all these different profiles, TikTok, Google My Business, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the things. And then you can come in and have these different categories and you can associate them with different profiles. Like then I have my schedule, just like in Me Edgar, where I have different content for this thing. But then I'm not like specifically going in and scheduling, okay, on Thursday, this post is gonna go in. No, what I actually do is I just import imported a bunch of different blog posts and things into this tool. So I've got some of these as drafts, but this is one that I actually wrote where I came in here and wrote this and I'm pinning it to Pinterest, but I'm also posting it on Instagram and um, uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. And I've been able to customize it for each, ver each platform, which is great. And then I can connect it with Canva. I don't like that the Canva is kind of limited because you can't change the canvas size. But yeah, I think this tool is honestly the most powerful. It gives me all these variations and it, it allows me to do what I really wanted to do with social media is just put a bunch of stuff in here, but not have to schedule everything. I can just kind of set it and forget it. So that's at a high level, the seven different social media tools that I tried out. And I think social B is the best for people like me who just want to be able to have regular social media, but not actually have to come in and schedule everything one by one. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. And if you have any more questions, I can always dive in a little bit deeper. Thanks.